Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike835 again, bringing you another G-Shock unboxing and review, and of course, my thoughts on what I think about this Casio G-Shock. Uh, this one I just got in the mail this afternoon. This is a Casio G-Shock GF8250 uh, Frogman. Of course, this watch is a diver's watch, uh, as you see here on the face. This is Divers 200 meter, and uh, it is ISO certified, so this is one uh, for you divers to get definitely um, I got this watch because I seen a lot of reviews and uh, videos on it online and I figure hey um, the price point right now is not that bad so why not so I decided to buy this one even though um, it's not an, uh, an atomic model this watch uh, is a tough solar uh, but does not feature an atomic receive on it I guess that's all right. Um, I have some uh, atomics and some solars, but you know, I really think that the watch is really nice. Um, I'm trying to convince myself about the color yellow, uh, as I don't wear any uh, G-Shocks that are so colorful like this. Most of my G-Shocks that I do wear on the daily are mainly black, and you know, you know, not too flashy at all. But um, I've been wearing this watch now for about an hour around the house, and I'm quite warming up to it, um, so we shall see uh, when Monday comes around that I gotta work, and yeah, we'll see uh, what um, what the colleagues think and the people from work think. So yeah, um, I want to hear some input on what they gotta say, even though I really think the watch is really nice. Um, this is my second Frogman into my collection. I have another Frogman which is a. Uh, a 200 series which is a little bit newer uh, case wise uh, that's another point I was gonna bring up guys this watch is it's a new you know you know new watch but the case on it it's a old school case uh, like um, you know it was one of the cases of the frogman in the old school um, but what they did was really neat because they added all the new technology into the watch including a tide graph a moon phase indicator uh, this watch does have a power save. Um, you know the regular other regular other G-Shock functions you would expect as well as a um, dive timer. So if you're into diving, yeah, this is the G-Shock. You know, this is the one for you guys. Like I said, um, my thoughts on the video. Um, you know, this watch is pretty interesting. Uh, it is a tough solar watch, as you see here on the band, and is. Um, shock resist g-shock i really think this watch is great and um time will tell how much i like it but um i i, I can't believe this and i'm saying this myself i am wearing this g-shock uh, that doesn't have to happen too often as you see all my collection videos you'll see that most of my watches that i do buy are collaboration g-shocks uh mainly 6900 series and i'm kind of scared to wear those watches um I yeah, know most of the people think I'm crazy, but um, I just choose to have them that way, brand new in a case. Uh, I don't know until however, how long and however, really I don't know that answer yet. Um, but I know that one day, um, if it's not uh, my son or somebody, someone will appreciate those G-Shocks for what they are and the condition they are. But anyways, back on cue, this is the GF8250, um, and I just got this one. And I really think it's an interesting watch, and um, I can't wait to wear it. So, yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, this watch is, you know, the GF8250. As you go, let me go around here for you guys. Here's the case on the side, Frogman. Got a. Um, nice case on the back with the frog and the snorkel and you got the black keeper which is kinda cool you know what that is guys it's black and yellow and yes guys one of my favorite features on this watch is that yes they brought back the swimming frog look at this yeah that is awesome I love this frog in the background with the snorkel just check this out Oh yeah, that is awesome guys. I love the swimming frog. I'm glad they just didn't give me a standard backlight. Yeah, that's just awesome. 